This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you Prime Minister's address at the Grand Challenge annual meeting. First, let's listen to the co-chair of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Bill Gates, at the Grand Challenges annual meeting 2020. We started Grand Challenges 16 years ago with the idea in mind to build a global network of researchers, scientists, and innovators, and to identify the most important problems so that we can focus their collective brain power on these problems. Now, so many scientists all over the planet, whether they're in this meeting or not, are involved in a particular grand challenge, which is ending the current pandemic. All over the world, some of these researchers are breaking down silos. Rather than waiting to go through a publication process, they're sharing data on a daily basis. Since the pandemic began, scientists have shared more than 137,000 viral COVID-19 genomic sequences. The pharmaceutical companies are cooperating on production in ways that really have never been seen before. But despite all this good work, right now, as fast as the science has moved and as great as this collaboration is, the pandemic is still ahead of us. The first COVID-19 vaccine will probably be the fastest that humans have ever gone from identifying a new disease to being able to immunize against it. Still, we all know this virus has managed to plunge the entire global economy into a deep recession, infect almost every country, and kill over a million people. As we hopefully enter the final chapter of this pandemic, we have to start asking, how can we do better before the next one? Where can we push the frontiers of science for the next time a novel pathogen appears it doesn't create a tragedy of historic proportions? The good news here is that COVID-19 has been an instructive adversary. It's pointing us to many areas where we need better R&D. The first is vaccine platforms that can let us develop vaccines many months faster than traditional methods. Since the outbreak of the virus, researchers have made huge strides in advancing some new platforms, but they still face time delays and barriers to scale and cost. Another promising area for rapid vaccine development is structured guided immunogen design. A third area that we need much better innovation is agnostic platforms. You know, COVID, because of the asymptomatic transmission, has shown us that we want to block change of infection. We can't just look at the people who are symptomatic. And so given the difficulty of getting to testing and the limited scale we have with current techniques, now these people are never diagnosed, and so they don't change their behavior. Right now, the, the current business model is based on finding people with symptoms, and we need to change that. We need sensitive and specific diagnostic for asymptomatic and we need to make it easy to access. The good news is that the technical piece, the PCR testing, is sensitive and specific. A lot of our challenge, though, is the logistics. One vision is that we should have a test kit that we can spread out into the community, either into medicine cabinets or community centers, pharmacies. There would just be a Q-tip swab and an envelope, and anyone who was exposed could self-diagnose without having to stick it too deep into their nose and then they'd mail off that, that envelope. Uh, lots of workplaces, airports would have this. We need to get those PCR machines then using a real-to-real process that can process a 100 times as many samples as the current best that only do a few thousand a day. Another approach is to use a point-of-care diagnostic platform called Lemura. It's small enough and also very sensitive and can get out to primary care. Also, it's even portable, so a, a health worker might be able to bring it into the community itself. So diagnostics is another key area that we need to be far better next time around. I'm optimistic that given the scale of this pandemic, but we weren't ready this time, we'll learn from our mistakes and do far better in the future. I'm optimistic about this because uh, so many of you are working at the forefront of the areas I've talked about, and that includes vaccines, diagnostics, and therapeutics. For this whole 16 years, the Grand Challenge community is joining forces to apply the best science to the world's most important problem. 
And I think if we continue to push science forward in the ways I've described, we'll not only solve the world breaks current challenge, the pandemic, but will also help other diseases and will be ready uh, for the next one. Now let's listen to Prime Minister Narendra Modi address at the inaugural function of the Grand Challenges Annual Meeting 2020. Namaste. Melinda and Bill Gates, Union Minister in my cabinet, Dr. Harshvardhan, delegates from across the world, scientists, innovators, researchers, students, friends. I am happy to be with all of you for the 16th Grand Challenges Annual Meeting. This meeting was to be held physically in India. But in changed circumstances, it is being held virtually. Such is the power of technology that a global pandemic did not keep us apart. This program has continued as per schedule. This shows the commitment of the Grand Challenges community. It shows a commitment to adapt and innovate. Friends, the future will be shaped by societies that invest in science and innovation. But this cannot be done in a short-sighted manner. One has to invest in science and innovation well in advance. That is, when we can reap benefit at the right time. Similarly, the journey to these innovations must be shaped by collaboration and public participation. Science will never prosper in silos. The Grand Challenges Program has understood these issues well. The scale of this program is commandable. In 15 years, you have engaged with several nations. The nature of issue address is diverse. You have combined bright global talent to address problems such as antimicrobial resistance, maternal and child health, agriculture, nutrition, wash, water, sanitation and hygiene. Friends, it has taken a global pandemic to make us realize yet again the importance of teamwork. After all, diseases do not have geographic boundaries. Diseases do not discriminate on the grounds of faith, race, gender or color. And by disease, I am not only talking about the current pandemic situation. There are several communicable and non-communicable diseases that are impacting people, especially bright youngsters. Friends, in India, we have a strong and vibrant scientific community. We also have very good scientific institutions. They have been India's greatest assets, especially during the last several months while fighting COVID-19 from containment to capacity building, they have achieved wonders. Friends, India's size, scale and diversity has always made the global community curious. Our population is almost four times that of USA. Many of our states are as populated as other nations in Europe and Asia. Yet, thanks to a people-powered and people-driven approach, India kept 
इट्स कोविड नाइन्टीन डेथ रेट वेरी लो टूडे वी आर सीन ए डिक्लाइन इन द नंबर ऑफ केसेस पर डे एंड इन द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ केसेस इंडिया हैज वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट रिकवरी रेट ऑफ एटी एट परसेंट दिस हैपन बिकॉज इंडिया वॉज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट कंट्रीज टू एडोप्ट ए फ्लेक्सीबल लॉकडाउन वेन द टोटल केसेज वेर जस्ट अ फ्यू हंड्रेड इंडिया वॉज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू एनकरेज द यूजेज ऑफ मास्क इंडिया एक्टिवली बिगेन टू वर्क ऑन इफेक्टिव कॉन्टेक्ट ट्रेसिंग इंडिया वॉज वन ऑफ द अर्लीएस्ट to deploy the rapid antigen test friends india is now at the forefront of vaccine development for covid some of them are in advanced stages we are not stopping here india is already working on putting a well established vaccine delivery system in place this digitized network along with digital health id will be used to ensure immunization of our citizens friends beyond covid 2 india is known for its proven capacity to produce quality medicines and vaccine at low cost more than 60% of the vaccines of global immunization are being manufactured in india we included indigenous rota virus vaccine in our indradhanus immunization program this is a successful example of a strong partnership for a long lasting results the gates foundation has also been a part of this particular effort with india's experience and research talent we will be at the center of global healthcare efforts we want to help other nations enhance their capacities in this sector friends in the last 6 years we have made many interventions which are contributing to a better healthcare system take a subject such as sanitation improved cleanliness more toilet coverage who does this help the most it helps the poor and under privilege it leads to a fall in disease it also helps women the most friends now we are ensuring that each household gets pipe drinking water this will further ensure disease reduction we are setting up more medical colleges especially in rural areas this ensures more opportunities for the youth it brings better healthcare to our villages we are running the world's largest health insurance scheme and ensuring access to everyone friends may we keep using our collaborative spirit for individual empowerment and collective well-being the gates foundation and several other organizations are doing wonderful work i wish you all fruitful and productive discussions over the next 3 days i hope to see many exciting and encouraging new solution coming out from this grand challenging platform may this efforts further a human centric approach to development may they also give our youth the opportunity to be thought leader for a brighter future once again i thank the organizers for inviting me thank you thank you very much you were listening to prime minister's address at grand challenge annual meeting this program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio you can listen to it on our mobile app news on air This program is also available on our website newsonair.com. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com.